Hello. Hi, we thought we would do a real estate market update to kick off a new month. It's the month of May, 2023. Yep, so we thought we'd just give you an update on what's happening here in our local real estate market. And it is still a seller's market to sum it up. <laughs> it is. Uh, sellers are coming on the market and still receiving multiple offers as long as they're priced right and their home's ready to go. Yeah, the things that are in good shape are really going quick with multiple people looking at them. The open house traffic is still off the charts. People are having, you know, 40, 50, 60 plus people through their open houses. Now the homes that are in the wrong locations or that are not move in ready are still sitting on the market for a longer period of time. Yeah, the sales are still surpassing the available inventory. So sales are happening faster than the inventory is coming on, which is why it's a seller's market still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of unbelievable. We're looking at a 7% gain already this year. Mm -hmm. In price, in median home price in California, it's up 7%. So all the headlines we've seen about the market prices crashing, we have not seen happening, certainly not here in coastal California. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And if you talk to low-income homeowners, they've got almost $290,000 average equity. Yeah, nationally, that's the top 10 uh, locations where lower-income people have the most equity. All 10 are in California. Mm -hmm. They're also 98% sales ratio to list price. So we were seeing it in the last couple of years be over 100% was the average sales prices were going over 100, which we of course have never seen, uh, but it's still at 98% when you do all the math. And the 98% still could be a possibility of people coming in, their list price a little too high and then accepting less than list. Mm -hmm. So as long as you price it right, you know, definitely call us. We'll talk about what your house is worth now. Um, it may or may not be worth what someone got a year or two years ago with this ever-changing market. Another conversation we've heard a lot about besides the crashing home prices that isn't happening is all these foreclosures that are, that are coming. Well, that's also not happening. And for a couple of reasons. Number one is people have equity in their homes. So there is equity and the market has continued to go up with all the government programs that were in place during the pandemic the they have the forbearance etc pushed the people that were struggling further out so they didn't make it through the court system and they're about two years behind well in that last two years the equity has gone up prices have gone up so we are not seeing any kind of foreclosure uh, you know spike that people keep talking about because it's just not happening yeah equity has held that off i mean it's real tough to foreclose on a property that has equity in it it can happen but the prudent seller is going to list their house, take the equity with them, and move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those two headlines, we are debunking them today because we are just not seeing that happening here in our local market. So it is still a seller's market. If you're thinking about putting your home on here in the spring, heading into the summer, give us a call. We'd love to talk about it and help you Make a game plan for whatever you need to do. Move up, move down, move away, or move closer to your grandkids. <laughs> Gary and Lisa Market Update, GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.